We're getting answers tonight on what authorities say caused the explosion at the Fremont plant. It's a story we've been following closely all week. Good evening, I'm Brian Mastry. And I'm Aaron Sullivan. Three people, 32-year-old Dylan Danielson and his two young daughters, were killed in the blast. The state fire marshal believes the explosion was accidental, saying a dust fire led to the explosion. It happened Tuesday just before noon at Horizon Biofuels in southern Fremont. The plant manufactured wood pellets and animal bedding. Now today, fire crews continued to put out the remaining flames. So what exactly is a dust explosion? First Alert 6 Investigates spoke with a fire safety expert to explain it in detail. Sherry Wilson says a normal fire needs three components, oxygen, fuel, and an ignition source. But with a dust explosion, you need two more. That's confinement and dispersion. So Wilson says all of that together can cause rapid combustion. Eyewitnesses told us they saw multiple explosions at Horizon Biofuels, and Wilson says that is not surprising. She explains when the first explosion disrupts the dust in a confined space, it makes the next explosion even bigger. Wilson says OSHA has standards to prevent dust hazards, but she feels it's not always taken seriously. The unfortunate thing is, a lot of people just don't know the potential of a dust explosion and they think, ah, oh, no big deal. Um, we're really, you've got to do a lot of cleaning. You can't have a lot of dust laying around. Wilson says these explosions can happen with all kinds of products, but especially wood and food like sugar and coffee. She also emphasized the importance of having equipment that is intrinsically safe in these kinds of atmospheres. That basically means equipment that won't cause excessive heat or a spark. Now, data from OSHA shows from 1980 to 2005, combustible dust incidents led to nearly 120 deaths and more than 700 injuries. Since then, OSHA has implemented a program emphasizing these dangers and inspecting hundreds of facilities every year. Horizon Biofuels was fined in 2012 by OSHA for problems with dust control.